Hey there, fellows. This is gonna be an easy one. You might recall how we filled this engine with some alternative lubricants. First, we attempted to use oil additives. Then we tried filling the sump with brake fluid. And nothing really even happened to it in those videos. Aside from those fluids flushing it. And with this Honda engine being as unkillable as it is, I think we should try cleaning the internals and making them super nice. Cleaning an engine on the outside, uh, we all know what's used for that. There's a special compound that you use to remove any sort of oil stains and super nasty filth. Right here I have got a can of engine bay cleaner. It can be used to clean an engine on the outside and make it look good as new. But can we use this very same compound to clean it on the inside? Well, let's find out. There is no longer any oil in there. We've dropped it, so remove the cap, pour in the compound. And if you haven't seen it, here's what the engine looks like currently on the inside. After all of those experiments, it's not particularly filthy, but there's still plenty of residue on the internals. So yeah, pour it in, start the engine, cleanse it, then open it up and see what condition it's in. Let's do this. Here we go. No need to rush. Wait, did you plug the oil pan? I think so, yeah, I did. I thought you didn't. You were like, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's pretty thick. The consistency... It's not quite like water. And what do we got? Almost to the max mark. Terrific. So, Gene, we sending it? To its demise. Evgeny, the owner of the car. No? Nope. We starting it? It's still got life in it. It sure does. I'm counting down. Yeah, fired up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Light is out. Let's allow it to run for a bit. For the engine to warm up. Once the temperature increases, the chemical reactions will accelerate. Things are going to be happening a lot faster. So I think we should let it get warm. What does it say on the can? Compound for washing engine bay. Right. On a car or a motorcycle. How to use apply compound to the engine bay after it cools off? Wait for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how dirty it is. So to clean the engine bay, you're meant to allow it to cool down. But since we're cleaning it on the inside, we're gonna let it warm up slightly. Just a tiny bit. I can clearly hear one of the valves ticking. Just one. Right, so it has gotten a bit warm, switch it off. Now we need to wait for 10 to 15 minutes, which we will. Ten minutes have transpired. Let's have a look, though we probably won't see anything. Yeah, I was right. We're not seeing anything through the oil filler in the valve cover. Why isn't it screwing back in? Must have cross-threaded it. There we go, fired up. Amazingly, it starts, and that's with no oil. What's with the pressure? Light is on. Light is on? Really? It's out. Isn't that lovely? There is pressure inside the lubrication system. Obviously, instead of motor oil, we're using a cleaning product, but no big deal. Smells nice. What's up? 
it's spitting water of some kind. Spitting water? Oh wow, so we have fixed the engine and its smoking problem? It was on with the brake fluid as well. Alright, so with the engine running and everything being this peachy, let's go for a drive then. It started and immediately began to move. In neutral. Yeah, in neutral. Alright, let's go for a ride and see how she do. Okay, so at idle we have a blinking... Uh, it's not even blinking. At this point the oil pressure warning light is just on. And the oil pump is unable... Um, to make this liquid flow under high enough pressure. But we're off. It drives! And the oil pressure warning light is not going out. Do you guys see any smoke coming out of the exhaust? None whatsoever. None? Here we go! It accelerates and quite well. But there is a distinct smell of those chemicals. Yep, it is very pronounced. What were you warning me about there? There is smoke and you can smell the compound. We can smell it inside the car as well. You can really smell it. Should have worn a breathing mask. But the engine is eating it right up. Yeah, I see the stoplight. And we have smoke. Now it smells like uh, really old motor oil. And it's hard to breathe. I think the engine feels the same way. The engine is a smoking. Plenty of smoke, right, Sergey? Worse than yesterday, but yeah. Look at it go. The smell is terrible. Yeah, there is a very distinct chemical odor. Gene? This calls for gas masks. Yeah, that would be a good idea. So here's what's up. We've driven almost 4 kilometers. It's all good, we got an oil pressure light. Engine is running, but it is smoking like hell. Yeah, it is producing a lot of smoke. Where's the check engine light? Who? Oh, the compound has cured that ailment. Amazing. The check engine light is out, that's interesting. And I hear a knock. A rumble. A rumble. That is already audible in the cabin. Might be because I have a window open. But the car accelerates very well. To come up with such an idea... Pouring engine bay cleaner... Into an engine. Amazingly enough, today it is pulling really hard. Wasn't doing this well on brake fluid. It accelerates... Where's the sunroof? Can somebody open it? And here we go. It accelerates. It just accelerates. We have a check engine light. 
Finally, the check engine light is back on. Holy cow, we just drove for 10 kilometers with it off, but now it's back. Must have worked out that there's not enough oil. I say we head back to base. We drove for 12 kilometers. Okay. It's not making any really nasty noises. And I can bang it off the limiter. Oh yeah, right. That's an interesting thing. It stalls when you let off, but no big deal. The engine has gotten oil. I bring the revs up to about 1800. Only then does the oil pressure light start to blink and sort of try to go out. Otherwise it's usually on. What if I rev it a bit higher? Just a tiny bit. Let's see. Right, so at the 1850 mark it begins to go out. See what's happening? There is nothing to breathe. Let's see what we got in here. We've removed the valve cover and what do we see in here? The aluminum is starting to shine through in some spots. On the rockers, the camshaft cradle, and some of the bolts and casting that were covered in a thick layer of carbon have been cleaned up. Didn't even take long. It's not perfectly clean though. But then we didn't go through a thorough process. We didn't rinse with water. Also, the compound was getting really hot together with the engine. But in any case, the compound worked. And any buildup that was hard is now gone. It was washed away. Oh, I forgot to mention that we removed the oil pan. Here it is right here. And let's see what it contains. Don't even know what to make of it, aside from the fact that it's filthy. The compound is really dirty. Looks like it flushed out a lot of the deposits. You can clearly see it. And this isn't something that was apparent necessarily before. Also, when I splash the liquid around, you can clearly tell that it flushed out a bunch of carbon. And all it took was 12 kilometers of driving. It washed out a lot of filth. Down here the picture is also pretty interesting. A lot of residue has been cleaned off. The cradle is much cleaner, especially around the edges. In some areas you're beginning to tell that you're looking at aluminum. Crankshaft counterweights are clean. The inside of the block is also much cleaner. I mean, it's not perfect, but the treatment has been very effective indeed. What can I even say? The compound works. It soaks into the filth and slowly cleans it out. We didn't exactly follow the instructions, we heated it, and we didn't use water. You're supposed to apply it, wait for it to permeate the dirt, and wash it off with a pressurized stream of cold water. But here we didn't have that, and the compound did what it could given the conditions. And the results actually aren't even all that bad. And on top of that, the engine... It held up, no spun bearings, nothing got stuck and so on. No new knocking noises. I did hear a slight rumble, but it was also there while running on motor oil, so... Also, we were all shocked to see the check engine light go out. We were like, yeah, we fixed the engine, but 10 kilometers later it came back on. 
Eh, whatever. Anyway, guys, I would not recommend you do this. If you do want to clean the engine, pull it out, go over it with a brush, rinse it with some water, that's the path to a 107% success. As for pouring it in, we don't recommend. But that's all I got for you, you saw it all for yourselves. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. We might want to replace this engine now. Alright, catch you later.